Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as of today, I am 21 weeks and one day pregnant. So really, really exciting stuff. So it's been a little while since I last saw you. So the last time we sort of checked in, I was 16 weeks pregnant and we just found out that we were having a lovely little boy and we are so, so excited. So today was an important day because we had our uh, anomaly scan. So we went in and saw the sonographer and she basically just looked over baby uh, to make sure that he was growing right in all the right places. Just gave him like a full MOT. It was really quite intense um, and you can tell she's concentrating really hard trying to find everything but she was just so so friendly and she just told us everything that she was doing just to make sure that we understood what we were looking at because she was looking at it was just amazing she was looking at uh, pictures of like his brain and his heart and showing us his little feet and his hands and it Oh my goodness, we saw the like cutest close-up picture of like his little button nose. It was just, oh, it was just amazing. We were just so excited. And I think, I think Tom was even more amazed than I was because he was just, he was so quiet and he was just staring at the screen the entire time and what was a really, really, really nice idea was that uh, he asked the sonographer how big, like scale-wise, the baby was. And she actually had like a little dummy of, it was like a little plastic, it was, yeah, it was like a little plastic baby. And basically it just showed you exactly how big the baby should be at 20 weeks. So because we were 21 weeks, she just said he'd just be a little bit bigger than that, but you know, at the end of the scan, Tom was just holding it and holding it up to my tummy and he's like, no wonder you can feel him moving. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel him moving. I've been feeling him move from about 15, 16 weeks, um, I believe, but now he is going, <laughs> he is going to town. He is kicking and thumping and he's stretching. And as of now, uh, my uterus is just about an inch above my belly button. Um, so I've definitely been feeling some kicks sort of higher up and when I've been lying in bed on my own just relaxing um, some evenings he's been kicking so hard that my belly button has been going like inside out which was a freaky freaky feeling I'm not gonna lie it was very very strange but at the same time it's just really endearing to know that he's getting stronger pretty much every single day you know you can feel him changing he's getting into little sleep and wakeful routines now problem is he wakes up pretty much when i'm trying to go to sleep uh, which isn't the most ideal um but yeah he is definitely growing in there so the room that i'm sat in at the moment is our nursery <laughs> exciting so as you can see the wall is gray and I'm sat in front of the nursery window, which has got like the perfect light as long as like the sun's out. It's a bit low, it's a bit overcast today actually. But we had our son's nursery painted and we've had skirting done, the windows have all been done. So everything's painted, all the furniture is up. Right behind me here is his cot. And I've put everything in it, but I've got to take it all off and wash it anyway, so I don't know why I did it, but I was so excited, so I had to do it. So he's got a few little bits and pieces in his cot, and what's really exciting is that, you know, everything's coming together now, like right here, I've got his pram. <laughs> I've got his pram, and this there's a box in front of me here. <laughs> that is his car seat, so I've got a stack of nappies here <laughs> next to me there's a lot going on i'm sorry if the room sounds slightly echoey um because it's not like a rug or anything down or anything to sort of like absorb the sound at the moment um but there will be we need to get like a chair for the nursery and stuff and the chair's going to go like right here by the window and then it's cot staying here so i can just sit in the chair there so it's already exciting but i don't really want to show you 
because we'll do a nursery tour. <laughs> so excited about that. We'll do a nursery tour once everything's actually all in and ready. So that's really, that'd, be really, that'd be really exciting. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been getting messages all day. <laughs> um, because everybody wants to know how the scan went and I've got photos, I'll just show you the photographs. So here I have some pictures of our little boy. Excuse me if I'm like staring into the lens trying to figure out if you can see everything. So I'm getting really close now. And what you should be able to see here is this is his arm and his hand on the end. And he is looking directly at you. So at the moment, in these pictures, he looks a little bit like Skeletor. But the problem is he wouldn't behave during the scan. So we couldn't get any profile shots of him uh, lying on his, you know, like these ones. <laughs> So we've just got a few uh, little pictures of him. Just look at the scan photo camera. Uh, just a few pictures of him looking directly at the camera, but it's actually amazing. But I, do, I need to show you some of the 3D scans as well. So here is a 3D scan of our son. I hope you can see that there. Look at that, isn't that amazing? So here's his little hand on his head. Here's his nose. This is lying there, and this here is the umbilical cord attached to the placenta here. It's amazing. He's so <laughs> he's gonna be so gorgeous. But yes, we've got loads of pictures now of him. Um, it's just so <laughs> it's just so exciting. So how am I feeling at the moment? Good. I'm feeling good. I've not stopped being sick, unfortunately. So I'm still being sick in the mornings which is really sad um, and I'm 21 weeks and all my baby books say it should have stopped by now but it's not I am a little bit nauseous in the morning still and I did actually throw up this morning I have a lot more energy now than I did at the beginning of the pregnancy I was so tired I was going to sleep at like six o'clock in the evening um, now I'm pretty much back to my normal routine I need to be asleep by 10 o'clock though in order to function the next day um, so more energy, which is a good thing. Another good thing is pregnancy skin. Love it. I have suffered with oily skin my entire life. I'm so prone to breakouts. And I can honestly say that during this pregnancy, my skin has been at its absolute best. Now, at the beginning of the pregnancy, oh my goodness, it was awful. I was just peppered in acne everywhere. I didn't want to be in front of the camera. Um, but now it's really sorted itself out. It's, I've got quite an even skin tone, uh, which is lovely. Um, breakouts are far less often. And God, yeah, at the beginning, my hair was like really, really greasy. Um, and now it's not oiling so much, which is great. The only problem now is that I'm getting heartburn, really, really bad heartburn. Um, so like the other night when I had it, I just wanted to cry. I've never had heartburn in my entire life. I didn't know what it felt like or what it was, but when I got it, gosh, I, I really knew. It, it, it knocked me for six. Um, and when I'm walking around, I'm feeling a little bit breathless. So I get a little bit faint, especially now it's getting a bit hotter walking around. I'm feeling, yeah, not so, not so great. Tummy, tummy is growing. I'm gonna see if I can show you my tummy now. Um, I don't know if I need to stand in the right place. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is my this is my pregnancy tummy. You'll probably be able to see it better if I pull this up. But, and I've got my maternity trousers on as well. Um, but I've eaten, so it's quite high up here at the moment. But. This is my pregnancy belly. It is getting bigger. Literally, it feels like by the day. Literally by the day, putting on a little bit of fat around here. <laughs> but yeah, tummy is growing, definitely. And when he kicks, I can feel him. I can feel him a lot. My boobs are huge. They are growing. I'm wearing maternity bras and whilst they are incredibly comfy, they just don't feel like they give you the oomph that you get from a normal bra. I've got the, I haven't pulled my 
maternity trousers up and the band's pushing in and he is kicking it right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything is so exciting. One thing that I have got that I picked up today is this mum-to-be pack. So I've registered with an app called Bounty and I noticed on the app that I could go into like my local boots and pick up like a pack. I have no idea what, it says your mum-to-be pack has Bounty Babies product guide, free product samples and money off vouchers. So I'm gonna open it and see what we've got. nappies in here. So we have a sample of Always Dailies and we also have a small trial pack of Boots nappies and what size have we got? Newborn which is four to eleven pounds which is perfect. I have a stack of 300 nappies next to me at the moment so we'll just add these to the <laughs> to the drawer where there's some more. What else is in here? Oh, oh, okay. So we have a sample of uh, Milton sterilizing tablets and I'm assuming this is to help you sterilizing like your bottles and things like that. Yeah, to sterilize bottles. So you've got like four, four tablets in there, which is great. Okay, cool. So we have a sterilizer bag Excuse me. We have a sterilizer bag from Munchkin. Yeah, you, you literally sterilize bottles of it. You put the bag of the bottles in the microwave, which I guess would be good if like my mum was taking care of the baby and I didn't want to send like the whole giant sterilizer over. That's cool, okay, great. So we've got a sterilizer bag. We have a bounty buyer's guide, so helps us choose things for our style and our budget. At the moment, we pretty much have everything. The only thing we need is a nursery chair and what's that other expensive thing? We need a rug, a nursery chair. Yeah, and then we're done. We don't need anything else. We're, li we're literally shopped out. We have a 20 pound voucher for some biodegradable nappies. We have a 16 pound club voucher, tasting club voucher for hotel chocolate. And yeah, that's it. That's it, empty. So that was a nice little surprise, being able to get one of these. It's nice to get, it's nice to get free presents, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Um, now the nursery is all set up, I'm definitely gonna get some more regular videos out. I've got a clean space to actually sit and enjoy, and I've got a feeling that I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in here anyway. So thank you very much for coming back to my channel um, give this video a like if you wish um, don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye